guys, today I'm going to vlog about a question I get asked a lot. And that question is, how did you become a Rita on Ninja Kids TV? Shoo! Get out of here! Go! Useless. How did you meet Shane? Did you have to audition? So that is what I am going to vlog about today. It will be perfect. Now, the creator of Ninja Kids TV, Shane Myler, many of you know that he's an amazing martial arts instructor. Now, all of us have seen the Power Rangers, or as Rita calls them, the Baby Rangers in action. But have you seen Shane Myler in action? Pretty cool, huh? Many of you probably know that some of the baby rangers are actually students of Shane Myler. So I'm talking about Alo Ramirez, the blue baby ranger. Andre Tapia, the black ranger. Asia, who plays the yellow ranger. And the other Power Rangers are actually the kids of Shane Myler, the creator. As you know, he has been training them since they are very, very young. And I'm talking about Ashton Myler, the Red Ranger. Peyton Myler, the Pink Ranger. And Brighton Myler, Bulk. Nope, you're the only dark guy I see. Why can't we just have normal kids in this neighborhood? Seriously. And the Green Ranger, so Ethan Feinschreiber. <laughs> <laughs> Different dork. He competes in tournaments worldwide, and that is how Ethan met Shane, and that is how Ethan became the Green Ranger. Yes, Empress. Jason will bow before you, or he will be destroyed. Good. But how did I meet Shane? How did I become Rita Repulsa on Ninja Kids TV? Well, you are making me impatient. Speak, child. <laughs> Well, go get some popcorn because I am going to tell you a story that took place almost seven years ago in a land called Salt Lake City, Utah. The year was 2012 and at the time I was already working as an actress. I had already been on TV commercials. Diez dólares. ¿Y qué recibo? Empiezas con siete piezas del pollo del coronel. ¿Y el acompañamiento? ¿Todo esto por 10 dólares? Suficiente para tu familia y para mí. ¿A dónde está? Bueno, I had been uh, the spokesperson for many companies. The ranks of schools that have committed to pursue excellence through accreditation más acerca de la oportunidad de Ignite hecho de tener éxito en nuestro negocio and I had just worked in a lot of random fun on-camera jobs we always tend to shortcut testing and then we pay for it later Okay. 
So at this point, I really was trying to get more jobs where I get to speak English because most of the roles I had, I was speaking Spanish and I wanted to do something that had more of a story, get some experience in film. So I opened an actors page on Utah Actors, which was kind of like a Facebook for actors in Utah. And uh, there was a producer that was actually studying to be a producer that saw my actor page, contacted me, and asked if I would like to audition for a role in a short student film about zombies. I of course said yes, I auditioned, and I landed the main role. I later found out that I was really selected mostly because of my look. He envisioned this main character to be kind of like a Sonia Blade. Yeah, study this! <laughs> Fortunately, on my actors page, I had these photos. So those photos pretty much landed me the job. So being involved in certain sports or lifting weights, that kind of thing does help you when you're an actor. It just helps you get selected for cool roles. At the end of this video, I will share with you what kind of workout routine I have, because people have asked me that too. So make sure you watch till the end of the video. So Shane Myler was involved in this student short film, and that's how I met Shane. And Shane helped out in a lot of aspects of this film, but one of his main roles in the film was to teach us a fighting scene. And Shane, also played the role of two different zombies. This was one, and this was the other one. Guess who else was in this film? Do you recognize this girl? That's right, so Shane Myler, Allie Myler, and Brighton Myler, the three of them, were part of this film. Let's see if you can spot Ali Myler, Brighton Myler, and Shane Myler in these clips amongst all the other zombies. Okay, so are you guys ready to watch the fighting scene? Wrong fighting scene. That's not the one I was talking about. That one's cool too. But are you ready to watch the fighting scene? That was choreographed by Shane Myler for this short student zombie film. Does this zombie look familiar to you? So that is Shane Myler, and he's the very first zombie I have to confront. Those teeth, though. If you are interested in watching the complete short film, you actually can find it on YouTube. So I will add the link in the description below. There is a part one and a part two, 
but you must be warned it could be too scary and gory if you're very young so maybe this would be for the older ninja kids fans you have been warned so later that year 2012 shane and i worked on a second project it was another short film another student film and this one i played emmy phoenix and she was a superhero in disguise that had the power of a phoenix she had the power of fire and she could never be killed i mean if she was killed she would always get reborn so in this film i was actually the good guy and shane myler was the bad guy plot twist do you want to see the fighting scene Check it out. So that guy that just turned around, that's Shane Myler, the main bad guy. What are you doing? Oh no, there's more. Run! Can't you really take all of those three guys? How is it that nobody can see the kid that's hiding behind the bushes? I'm just a coward. Unfortunately, you cannot find this video on YouTube anymore, but I have asked the creator if he will re-upload it on YouTube. So we had a lot of fun filming this and the boy who you see on the film is actually my son in real life. His name is John Hernandez. So five years after filming Emmy Phoenix, I saw Shane Myler and Ali Myler at an event and they told me all about Ninja Kids TV, they had already done Power Ranger episode one, and they were working on Power Rangers episode two, and that's where Shane asked me if I was interested in being Rita Repulsa. So I did not really audition for the part, but one might say that the audition was when I worked with him back in 2012. By the way, the guy that is all dressed up in black, that was Shane Myler. And before I leave, I promise to tell you about my workout routine. So I do lift weights, usually between 15 to 25 pounds so that I can do a lot of reps. And that is pretty heavy for me since I'm pretty short. A lot of different types of push-ups. pull-up motions, it is not easy but doing hard things makes you an awesome ninja! And for cardio I do something that is really fun. Do you want to guess what it is? Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. 
and hit the notifications bell. I would love to know what would you like to see in future videos? Comment below. Thank you. Thank you.